good morning students this is 12th standard botany video class video 6 in this video we are going to continue the lesson principles of ecology dear students in the previous video class we have seen different types of ecological factor it is divided into two types one is positive interaction Another one is the negative interaction. Positive interaction means the interaction between the two organisms. Both the organisms are benefited. That is divided into two types. One is the mutualism. Another one is the commensalism. Mutualism means it is interaction between two organisms in which both the organisms are benefited. That is said to be mutualism or symbiotic association with a different example. Second one is the commensalism. Here, the interaction between the two organisms in which one of the organisms is benefited, the another one is neither benefited nor harmed. For this example is also we have seen. Next negative interaction that means the interaction between the two organisms. One of the organism is benefited another one is the harmed or affected. The different types are predation parasitism, competition and amenzalism. First one, predation. That means the interaction is taken place between two organisms. The organism in which kills the other organism is known as predator. The another one in which it is killed is known as prey. So, in the particular environment, both plants and animals are which are showing predation type of interaction. Some plants which are having the defense mechanism to protect against the herbivorous animal. Then, we have seen the second topic, parasitism. The interaction between the two organisms, one is the benefited, other one is the harmed or affected. It is divided into two types. One is the holoparasite, another one is the hemiparasite. For this holoparasite, one of the organism is benefited, another one is the harmed. It is divided into two types. One is the total parasite, another one is the partial parasite. The total parasite is also again divided into total stem parasite and root parasite. The total parasite, stem parasite example is cuta. Partial stem parasite example is come. And the root parasite example Arabanki species. So, these are all the different topics we have seen in the previous video class. Now, we are going to see the another type of parasitism that is hemiparasites. Dear students, see the topic hemiparasites. For this hemiparasites, the organism that means the parasitic organism which are derived only water and mineral salts from the host plant. 
by using this mineral and, and salt water that means sorry mineral salts and water they are synthesizing their own food material by photosynthesis so they are known as hemi parasites what is that one hemi parasites or partial parasites example viscam and loranthus are partial stem parasite santalum album is the binomial name of sandalwood sandana maro is a partial root parasite in this plants they are having the leaf like organ explained with the help of the diagram but they are living on the bark of a tree so the root is not directly attached to the soil so what will happen these plants which are producing a special type of root is known as astorial root this astorial root penetrate inner side of the host tissue into the xylem components and absorb only water and mineral salts by using this water and mineral salts they are use they are doing the process is known as photosynthesis and preparing their own food material so that is said to be the partial parasites or hemi parasites write a short notes on partial parasite or hemi parasite is the important three mark question next one competition dear students the interaction is taken place between two different species at the end of the interaction both the species are harmed that means affected the symbol is minus minus negative symbol so the competition is occur in the particular environment the organism which is survival and produce more popular in the particular environment is show the regular distribution other organisms are showing the irregular distribution so this competition is divided into two the competition which is taken place between the same species is known as intra specific competition the competition which is taken place between different species is known as inter specific competition first one intra specific competition it is the interaction between the individuals of the same species for example ibiscus rosa sinensis is there is one of the plant so this plant is compete with another species of ibiscus rosa sinensis that competition is known as intra specific competition so this type of competition is very severe because all the type of species which are having the same requirements of food habitat pollination etc and also they are having the same type of adaptation to fulfill their life activities or needs that is said to be intra specific competition next one inter specific competition the interaction is taken place between the individuals of different species for example in a grassland forest area they are covered with many grasses among the grasses they are showing the competition there is compete with other organisms for the nutrients and water is available if any shortage occur in the environment for example water shortage is occur in the environment 
a life activity and a death competition is taught among the different species of the grassland so normally there is no competition if the sufficient amount of nutrients and water is present in the soil means they are taking and they are survive in the particular environment the water shortage is occur in that environmental condition means so that life and death competition is taken place between the different species of grassland at the time of competition between the different species of grassland one of them only survival and that species is maintain the quantity of the nutrient availability of the water and migration to new area another example is also there different species of herbivore that is plant eating animals larvae young one of a insects and grasshopper particularly these three organisms are competing for fodder food material or forage plants forage plants means grazing the plants this is the animal which is present in the particular environment competing with each other in which they are having the common food material there is the interspecific competition between different species so herbivorous is different species larvae is another one and grasshopper is another one for their food material they are competing with each other likewise tree shrub and herb which is present in the forest also compete or struggle for sunlight water and nutrients and also for pollination process finally the disposal of fruits and seeds is also is taken place with the help of competitive process only another example utricularia is the bladder wort insectivorous plants this plant is competes with tiny fish or small crustaceans that means small insects and also a crab prawn like that a small animals and insects which is present in the sea water the utricularia is also competed with them to capture the insects or small fishes or small crustaceans and insects which running in the water current so two different species of the organism is also competing with each other for the absorption of nutrient and the water and also survive in the particular environment that type of competition is known as interspecific competition the fourth type of the negative interaction is amenzolism this is the interspecific interaction in which one species is inhibited that means stopped while the other species neither benefited nor harmed so one of the activity of the interaction is totally inhibited stopped the other one is neither benefited nor harmed so this inhibition that means growth activity stops achieved by the secretion of certain chemicals is called allelopathic substances amenzolism is also otherwise known as antibiosis what are allelopathic substances is important two mark question the inhibition of a interspecific interaction achieved by the 
secretion of certain chemicals called allelopathic substances. The another name of amansalism is known as antibiosis. Dear students, write a short notes on antibiosis. It is important. Three more question. Or the last the question, write a short notes on amansalism with the example. The first example is penicillin is the antibiotic medicine produced from the fungi is known as penicillium notatum. So this penicillium notatum fungi which inhibit that means stop the growth of a variety of bacteria especially staphylococcus. See the penicillium notatum is neither benefited nor harmed but the another organism what is that one bacteria the growth of the bacteria is stopped by the fungi penicillium notatum so is the one of the example of amansalism another one trichoderma inhibit the growth of the fungi asparagus sorry aspergillus Next one, roots and hulls of black walnut, jugulans nigra, secretes an alkaloid is known as jugulone, which inhibits the growth of the seedlings of apple, tomato and alfalfa plant. Root and hulls of hulls means the outer side of the seed coat of a black walnut. Jugulans nigra, binomial name, black walnut, binomial name is Jugulans nigra. Secrete an alkaloid is known as Jugulone. These alkaloids inhibit the growth of a seedlings of apple, tomato and alfalfa. So, these are all the different examples of amensalism. Dear students, each and every interaction, positive interaction, negative interaction, Interspecific interaction, intraspecific interaction, amensalism, everything is important. 2 mark, 3 mark and 5 mark question. Kindly put important mark in your text textbook. Next we are going to see interspecific interaction or co-evolutionary dynamics. First one, mimicry. What is that one? Mimicry is one of the process or a phenomenon in which living organism change their form, appearance, structure or behavior and look like another living organism. So what is mimicry? We all know that one. The artist which are mimics the another person's voice by changing their modulation voice modulation they are mimics the other person voice modulation as well as the activity body language that is said to be mimicry likewise living organism is also modifies their form appearance and behavior and look like another living organism as a self defense that means to protect from the other organism whether it may be herbivorous animal or any other organism to protect themselves their structure and appearance or a form is modified into another living organism by showing these changes they are surviving in the particular environment or adapting in a particular environment. So first of all, some of the plants which are showing the floral mimicry. So this floral mimicry is very much responsible for the insects pollination. But some animals which are showing the mimicry is protective in function. Plants which are doing mimicry means 
it is helpful for the pollination process animals which are doing mimicry means it is the self protection this mimicry which are showing the evolutionary sequences due to different shape and sudden heritable mutation that means sudden mutation and preservation of natural selection so this is said to be mimicry dear students see the first diagram phyllium frondosum that means the leaf which are look like in the form of an insects isn't it so that it said to be the mimicry second one the entire insects is look like in the form of stem caracium morasus so that it said to be the mimicry of a plants and animals in plants men it helpful for pollination in animals it said to be the self protection dear students for mimicry example a plant opiris is an orchid plant that means a living organism which lives on the bark of a tree for the growth development on the host plant is known as orchids the flower of the flower of the opiris is look like a female insect to attract the male insects to get pollinated by the male insects and is otherwise called as floral mimicry so that means in opiris plants the flower is look like the female insects to attract the male insects for pollination so this type of mimicry is known as floral mimicry there is flower is modified into female insects another one carasia morasus it is a stick insect kuchi puchi or walking stick the entire insect is look like in the form of stem dried stem kuchi mari irukku so these insects which are giving protection against another animals that it said to be self defense example carasium on carasium morasus another example is also there phyllium frondosum it is a leaf insect i told you I explained the help of the diagram the first diagram the entire leaf is look like in the form of a insect which are giving protection against the grass eating animals that is said to be the another example of mimicry so these three are the different examples of mimicry next one myrmecophily the first lesson itself you have studied the pollination which are taken place by ant is known as myrmecophily ants are the small creature which are taking shelter on the trees such as mango litchi jamun and acacia so these ants are act as a bodyguard of the plant against any disturbing agent and in turn the plant is also provide food and shelter to these ants this phenomenon is known as myrmecophily example acacia and acacia ants acacia melanozylan means karvela maro in those trees ants are is there these ants are act as a guards of the plant against the disturbing agent 
in turn the plants which are giving food material to the ants so this phenomenon is known as myrmecophily example acacia and acacia ants next one is the co evolution this is also an interaction between organism this interaction is taken place for several generation that's why they are given continuous for generation involves reciprocal change in the genes and morphological character of both the organism so the interaction is taken place from several generation which show the reciprocal changes in the genetic character as well as the morphological character of both the organism this type of evolution is known as co evolution this co evolution is also kind of a adaptation and mutual change occur in interactive species see the diagram it is a bird which are showing the co evolution with the plant so the interaction between the bird and a plant is continued for several generation showing the reciprocal changes in both morphological and genetical character is known as co evolution dear students co evolution is a book back question uh, so very very important 3 mark and 5 mark question the another example is also there that means the picture which is given in the diagram is known as the best example of co evolution the corolla length so in that plant a red color plant we have seen isn't it they are having the flower the color of the flower is length is and the proboscis length proboscis means beak of a bird is known as proboscis length of butterflies and the moth example abenaria and moth then birds beak shape and flower shape and size another example more example of hornbills and birds of scrub jungle slit size of pollinia of apocynaceae members and leg size of the insects so this all the different interaction is taken place between the organism which shows changes in the genetical character and morphological character in both the organism that is known as co evolution so this are all the different examples of co evolution see the point do you know paragraph kairomon is released from the pyrus rape caterpillar exposed to the wild radish gets the capacity to transmit defense included by predator to progeny of wild radish transmission capacity of the demons included by predator to progeny of wild radish so here the interaction is taken place between wild radish and a caterpillar both of them which are showing the defense mechanism by changing their genetic and morphological character so this is the another example of co evolution that is known as chiromon dear students up to this we have seen different types of interaction intraspecific interaction and interspecific interaction up to this i conclude my video remaining we will see in the next video class god bless you all the best children